Hi, we showed in our previous video how to use econometric models to do media mix modeling using spreadsheets. Non-deterministic approaches like MMM are ever more critical with ATT or IS-14 making device level data practically unavailable. Especially if you are advertising on multiple channels, it is very hard to know the real impact of the campaigns without any sort of incrementality or MMM analysis, which can lead to wasted budget and increasing CPAs. As John Vanamaker said in a very popular quote, half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is, I don't know which half. The spreadsheet-based model we shared in the last video is definitely a great first step. If you haven't checked it out, please go to this link which is visible on the screen. We walk you through exactly how to build a spreadsheet based MMM model based on actual data. If you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend it as a good first step to get your feet wet before building out something more complex and code driven using Robin. We will talk about how you can go one step further and use Facebook's open source code Robin to build an MMM. Before we jump in, here is a brief intro about me. I am Virendra Shikhawat, Senior Performance Marketing Manager with Rocketship HQ. I have over six years of experience in mobile marketing. I have a deep interest in analytics and have led a number of analytics initiatives at Rocketship HQ. I'm also currently doing an advanced course on big data, machine learning, and advanced statistical analysis from Indian School of Business, India. So first, what is MMM? In simpler terms, think about MMM as in baking a pizza. You go to a cafe, order a pizza, and it was delicious. You want to find out what ingredients went into the pizza so you can make it on your own. You find out the recipe and are good to go. You can now successfully recreate pizza anytime you want and you may want to experiment with the recipe as well to see if it's successful and more delicious with other ingredients or what ratio of ingredients produces even better tasty results. MMM via Robin is also quite similar to that. At the end of your analysis, you will have all the right ingredients to create a model and you can also experiment with it to get more accurate results that are best for your business. However, in broader terms, MMM is an econometric model that aims to quantify the incremental impact of marketing and non-marketing activities on a predefined KPI that could be sales or revenue. This is a holistic model used to understand how to allocate a marketing budget across marketing channels, products and regions and can help forecast the impact of future events or campaigns. We already built a basic MMM using spreadsheets in our earlier video. Let's dive in and talk about how you can implement an MMM using Facebook Robin. Robin is an experimental, semi-automated and open sourced marketing mix modeling package from Facebook. It aims to reduce human bias by means of rigid regression and evolutionary algorithms and enables actionable decision making. It provides a budget allocator and diminishing returns curves and allows ground truth calibration to account for causation. First things first, let's walk you through how to set up the environment for Robin. In a general sense, a programming environment combines hardware and software that allows us to build applications or models. Since Robin provides a code only available in R, which is a programming language, we need to set up that environment on our device. To start with, first you need to install R on your system. R is a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics. It is a programming language in which we will be executing FP Robin. So first, 
it is very necessary to have the R4.0.5 version installed in order to be able to run Robin code. We can download Robin by going on this link which is visible on your screen. Please note that all the links that are shown in the video will be added to the description as well. So from the link that we shared earlier, we come to this screen and over here we see that we need R4.0.5 version or higher to download R. We go to this page and over here we see there are multiple links. Since I'm using an OS Mac, I will be clicking on this link. From here we see that for a user who is using Intel, he would be clicking on this link. For me, since I am a Mac user, I have clicked on this link and have already downloaded this on my screen. When I open this, this is saying that this is already installed on my computer. So I do not need to do that. But for you, you have to go through the steps and have it saved on your laptop. Once we have R on our system, we need a code editor. We can download R Studio, an IDE, which is Integrated Development Environment from here. As this is designed to help us be more productive with R. It includes a console that supports direct code execution and a variety of robust tools for plotting and managing our workspace. Over here, we see that there is our Studio Desktop, a free version. If I click on that, it takes me to another page where it's showing me that I can click our Studio for Mac by clicking on here. I have already installed it on my laptop, but for a first time user, they have to click on this and download our Studio on their device. Once we have this, let's launch it and we see that it looks like this. Over here, we see that here is console and if we go to Facebook Robin, it gives us a demo R script. We simply copy this demo R script from here, go to our R studio open a new R script. So R script is the area where we will run our code and that will get executed in the console. So let's paste the entire demo R code to our script. So as you can see, before we run our code, we need to run a few lines of code that we need to run only for the first time and not every time we run the model. As you can see over here, if you're not an expert in R, a line starting with hash is basically a comment or note only and not a code. We have a link to this code in the video description so you can copy paste and use it for yourself. So first we need to import Robin so we can use all of its functions and features to do our MMM. But if you are doing it for the first time, you first need to install the package remotes. You can do it by either running it on the console or by highlighting this as we hit play and command enter. So if we select this and we just hit run, the remote package will start installing or we can do it the other version as well. We copy this and we paste it in the console. These are basically the exactly same things that is installing the package remote on our device. Now we will install Robin on our device. As earlier, we have to run it only for the very first time and very similar, we can select and hit run.
on our device. Now as you can see in our console that is it is installing Robin on our laptop. It may take some time for a first time user. Now since I already have it downloaded on my laptop it is asking me if you need to do updates or if not. In this case let's go with option number two CRAN packages only. As you can see that the process for installing Robin is done. Please note that why these are hashed is because these are to be run only for the very first time. After that all you need to do is simply call library Robin and that would be enough. Like this. If you do not see any action happening on the console that means the code that you ran is successfully executed. From this set of code we can see the Robin version that we have on our device. So we have 3.6.2 now on our devices. The next set of lines of code is forcing the system, forcing our studio to use a multi-core which is available in our laptop for execution purposes. The next thing which is important is to have library never grad. If we go further down the code, we see over here. Navagrad is a Python library that R uses to set hyperparameters. Now, as I said, Navagrad is a Python library, and in order to use that in R, we have two methods. Either we use reticulate library and install Navagrad via pip. Or we can use Conda, which is another software we can download from. So Anaconda is over here. So we can download Anaconda by going to this link and install Reticulate library via that as well. In our version, we prefer doing it via first option that is via pip and Reticulate. First, we need to install the package. We can do this by running it in console or searching it in install tab. So, either we run this install package reticulate, it will ask you to upload loaded packages and if we want to restart R prior to install. Please say yes to that. Now, as you can see that your laptop uh, RStudio is installing package reticulate. You can do this via another option by going to install, searching for the package reticulate and click on install. All methods are the same. You can use whichever you like. As you can see in your console that reticulate is being installed on your laptop. We as I said we have hashed this because these are the things that you need to do only for the very first time. And then we can simply call library reticulate. Since we are not seeing any error that means reticulate has been downloaded on our devices. Next, let's install Nevergrad via the first option that we mentioned. For that, we need to create an environment that allows us to run R and Python at the same time. Now, this is a bit technical and we will avoid it. But the important point is that we need to create a virtual environment in R in order to use Nevergrad. So we run this line of code, which is hashed. Over here, we see that the name that we have mentioned over here is our reticulate. Our reticulate is just a name for the environment that we can name anything. After that, once we have created the virtual environment, now the code will tell us 
to use that virtual environment and now we tell R to install Navigrad via pip. So first let's run this line of code. Then this python install Navigrad. Now this is installing as you can see in your console. Now this thing will take some time. So please let it complete as this is happening for the first time on your device. However, going forward, you just need to execute these two lines of code that is library reticulate. Library reticulate and use virtual environment. That's all. The other lines of code that are hashed are simply to be run only for the very first time and not every time we run any MMM model via Facebook Robin. Now we have everything that is needed to run our model and that's it for this video as well. In the next set of videos, we will go through the next steps as to how Robin works, how to run Robin code for your data and how to interpret results. Thank you. If you would like to help us help you build a MMM model for your product using Robin or if you'd like to explore our services for user acquisition or creative production, please go over to rocketshiphq.com or send us a note at hi at rocketshiphq.com. Thank you.